Getting into the game, I was pretty young. My mom was born in Jamaica, came to Canada when she was roughly about, I think, eight or nine. So hockey was never like something that she had growing up, but when she came to Canada, hockey was like a huge part of Canadian culture. So naturally she wanted to put her kids into it. And she actually put my brother in it, who's two years older. And he liked it, but it was obvious he wasn't gonna be the huge hockey player of the family. So one day he wasn't able to make one of his skates and little five-year-old Dayton jumped on the ice. Dayton, I would say, immediately fell in love. The minute she saw the ice, the minute she saw the speed, it was an immediate love for the game. When I first started playing hockey, of course, like I loved the sport, I loved the speed, and I also loved the challenge that hockey offered. I was fast, my nickname was Speedy growing up because I was a, a runner, a cross-country runner. I knew that hockey was gonna stick with me for the rest of my life about five years ago when my father passed away because my hockey family, my hockey community, they were, I'm sorry, they were just always there for me. Like the entire team showed up to my dad's visitation, his funeral, and from there on out, I knew that I'd always have like my hockey family to kind of de depend on. Hockey extends outside of the rink. It's not just in the rink. His passing has a huge impact in her life. Hockey definitely helped her go on and continue and to cope. So I have a, a neighbor about two doors down who has three like little grandkids. I've been teaching them and you know learn how to raise a puck. Being able to give back in that sense and to help other kids learn why I love hockey so much is just, it's an unmatched feeling. Giving the gift of hockey is giving the gift of a community that's always going to be there for you. Sometimes it, it is obvious and I, I am reminded, whether it's intentional or not, that I am different and that the sport wasn't exactly designed for me. Like I've heard guys on the ice saying like, oh, like she's only fast because she's black. And I'm like, it's, it's, there's so much more to me than just like being black. And I put in hours and hours and days and weeks and years to be where I'm at right now. And it's not just because of where I come from or what I look like. I identify as a hockey player. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a girl, I'm a person of color, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, but at the root of it, I'm a hockey player. I'm competitive, I'm empathetic, I lift up my teammates, my teammates lift me up. I was briefly involved with the Black Girl Hockey Club and seeing the initiatives they're doing, it's, it honestly really inspired me and that kind of led me to become the head of the Black Student Union at my school and that's focused on like creating diversity, equity and inclusion. I'm like focusing on black excellence, specifically in the sports world. I feel like representation or the lack of is hurting the young black hockey players who want to grow up and be successful. Because growing up, frankly, I've never had another black teammate. Five years from now, I don't want it to be a surprise to see a black player on a team or a black player on the starting lineup. I wanna see like color. I, I wanna see more color and I wanna see more representation. And I want the women's game to be further than it is right now, to be closer to that NHL level. My barn is just always a place that I feel I'm welcomed. Somewhere that I can always just be my authentic me. I can, I can be unapologetically myself. My name's Dayton O'Donoghue and I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada.